Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video of West Game Tips and Tricks, hosted by me, Mickey Freeman. Due to popular demand and lots of requests, today I'm going to make a video that's a little bit longer than usual. We're going to be working on gear. So, first thing here, I want to look at my gear. And we're working in my farm today. <clears throat> and I'm using my farm because my gear in my farm isn't quite as well um, built as some of my other accounts. Okay. So, oh, look, I can upgrade my Reno's watches. Nice. Okay. But anyways, we're going to work on our gear and I want y'all to follow along with me and see how I go about the process of doing this. It seems to be a big issue for lots of people in this game. The first thing you want to do is use this right here. This is your filter button. Your filter will allow you to use options to determine what you're trying to work on. If you need construction gear, if you need ranged gear, if you need uh, training gear or whatever, your filter will allow you to sort through the different equipment that you can use for your sheriff, okay? So what I'm gonna do we're going to work on some combat gear. Everybody seems to want to know about combat gear. So, I'm going to go right over here. And the first thing I'm going to select here is all troops. And then I'm going to hit OK. OK? Now, it's going to reduce the amount of items that you see. And then you can further filter by selecting on individual pieces here, okay? So let's look at my hats. I have three hats and each of these hats, if you click on them, you can see what their stats are. Now this decorated kepi, I use this for gathering when farming bases. It has a troop load modifier of 39.2%. I don't care about the troop life. I don't care about the artillery attack. I'm only focused on the troop load for this one. That's what it's for. The Alvarez hat, its primary boosts are cavalry. You see, Cavalry attack and cavalry defense with troop defense and troop life. Okay. <clears throat> Below the equipment boost, you can see what your crystals boost provide. I've got 12% cavalry attack with this gem right here, which is a rare quality or level four quality cavalry attack crystal. I don't pay attention to my total boost when I am making gear because what I'm more concerned about is the base stats. The stats that come with just the equipment alone. Other things can be modified with crystals, okay? So here we've got a cavalry hat. And this one here is an infantry hat. Infantry, cavalry, and troop defense, actually. Okay? So...
We're going to look at our jackets here. And we see our Bermuda jacket gives troop defense, troop life, and trap attack. Okay. We'll look at our plated coat. And you will see it gives troop defense, construction speed, and trap attack. Now I'll go ahead and I'll tell you, this plated coat I use only for construction. I don't use it for combat. Okay. So let's look at our boots. We have a hard leather boots, which gives infantry attack, troop defense, troop life, and troop load. Okay. We're going to look at our guns. We have the Colt Patterson and the Singer Bell Shotgun. Singer Bell Shotgun I use for construction. If you'll look, you see it has a 3.5% construction speed. And the Colt Patterson is infantry and cavalry attack with troop life and trap attack. Oh my goodness, look at this junk here. Uh, it's an old, like I said, it's my farm. I don't typically put small crystals in there. And we're going to look at our accessories. And we see we have infantry attack and troop defense. And our Alvord's belt cavalry attack and cavalry defense. Okay. So, that is using the all troop filter, okay? And I'm going to reset that, and let's change it, and let's look at infantry. Now we see that these items here are directly related to infantry boosts. However, not all of them are combat gear. My hickory cane here, I don't use this for infantry. I use it for research. It has an 8.6% research speed. Okay. These cowboy boots are something that I made long ago in the beginning of the game when my sheriff was much lower that I don't use anymore. Now, we'll filter by item one by one. I have a hat. My denim jacket is another of those I use for a gathering. If you'll see, the troop load is 13.4%. Okay. And my decorated uniform has infantry attack and cavalry attack. So when you use the filter, what you're going to see is every item that you have that has that particular statistic that you're looking for is going to be listed. Here I have the Colt Patterson and the Colt Walker. The Colt Walker has 17% infantry attack, 8.5% cavalry attack. 17% ranged attack, and 17% silver production. The Colt Patterson has significantly lower statistics. Okay. Your filter enables you to see each item that has that boost in it. Okay. So let's take off infantry. And let's look at cavalry. And we're going to see a lot of these same items are here. Okay. My jack boots, even though they have a cavalry boost. Why is that in there? I'll go ahead and pull that out. No, I'm not. I'm going to save the gold. Anyways, that shouldn't be there. <clears throat> that is a construction piece of gear. But anyways, you'll see cavalry attack 5.8%, but that's not what I use it for. I use it for my troop load of 11.5% to increase my gathering. 
So when you're selecting your gear, you want to be careful and not try to pick something that's just all inclusive and you think that will help with everything. Because the best we can do here is to make individualized sets. You'll see in my presets I have economics, basic attack, and defense. My economics gear, you see I have a decorated slouch hat right here. My plated coat. My boots. Which provide 9.1% construction speed, my steel ruler, 12% construction speed, my Singer Bell shotgun, which offers 3.5% construction speed, and my golden divider, which offers an additional 16% construction speed. My basic attack and my defense, if you look at them, are the same items. But what you'll notice differently here is the skills are set, set up differently. Here you look at these stats, my infantry attack, cavalry attack, and ranged attack here with their respective percentage increases. My cavalry defense, troop defense, troop life, trap attack, troop, it's all right here, but if we go look at our basic defense, I want to show you the difference in this here, okay? <clears throat> in this attack preset, you see I have 65% troop defense and 142% troop life. Now, if I switch to my defense preset, you'll see that my troop defense increases a lot to 162%. My troop life remains the same. Why is this? This is because I have my skill presets set up differently. In my basic attack, I have my skills set with troop attack maxed out, cavalry ranged and in infantry one, and troop life one are maxed out. And you notice I don't put points where they're not needed. You see? And cavalry two has 29, infantry has 35, and ranged has 16. This is my attack, and my life is maxed out, see? But when we go look at my defense, we're going to see something a little bit different. So let's look at defense and look at the skill preset. And here we're going to see troop defense is maxed out. Cavalry attack, range attack, and infantry attack, and troop life are maxed out. And here you see... Cavalry 2, Infantry 2, and Ranged Attack 2 don't have quite so many points in them as they did on the other preset. You look here, you look here, and you look there. And you see that they only have 5, 6, and 10 in them because the extra points are allocated here to Defense. Now, these numbers can increase with different gear. Now, we're going to go back to basic attack here. And I want you to look at this right here. Our lowest number of these three is ranged, okay? We're going to increase our ranged today. Now, another way that we can look at this 
is we click right here on our town center. And I'm going to change the color of this a little bit right there. All right. We're going to look right here. And click on your town center. And then... You click overview and true, okay? When you click on true, you can click on the individual troop types here, here, and here, and you can see the individual percentages for each one. So first we're going to look at our elite guard or infantry stats. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to scroll and you see, first we need to see what preset we have here. We're currently set up for economics, okay? So going back here we look here and we see that we have our attack for infantry is 129 percent defense is 153 and life is about 95 okay we'll look at our shock riders right here you see and we see that our attack is 138 defense is 153 and life again is about 95 now we'll look at our riflemen these are our ranged troops and we're going to see one thirty three, one thirty three, and about ninety five again. Now, if I change this to my defense. Let's go look at them again. And we see that the defense has increased significantly from 133 to 295%. And our life has increased from 95 to 227. Now what I wanna do is get this number higher. So we're going to work on building up our range attack today. We can look at infantry and look at those also. And we see 227 life, 316 defense, and almost 200 attack. We can look at our cavalry and we see again So looking at our individual stats, what we see that we need to increase is range. We need a higher ranged attack. So let's work on our ranged gear. We're going to go to our forge. We're going to click on all equipment here. And we're going to filter by ranged troops. I already know I don't have a hat. So let's look at the different hats that we can craft. Now, very obviously, you see the tribal warrior's chest 
with 30% ranged attack and ranged defense and 20% troop life. Tribal Warrior is hands down the best ranged gear in the game. But I cannot craft the Tribal Warrior because I don't have the materials needed to craft it. But what you got to understand here is that you're looking at gold quality here, okay? If you use this little line right here, you can actually change the quality that you're trying to craft at. So let's try... To look at green okay when i go down to green you see i can craft a level three quality bermuda sombrero but i cannot craft it at level six quality can i craft it at level four rare quality yes i can can i craft it at level five epic quality no i cannot so now we see what options we have. We can create an epic or level five quality sombrero, which gives 5% ranged attack. We don't want that. This old cowboy hat here gives 4.3% ranged attack. And even at purple quality the tribal warriors gives 21 percent <clears throat> but the bermuda sombrero gives 26 percent we see here when comparing the tribal warriors and bermuda's hat the main difference between the two is that you get 30% ranged attack with the Tribal Warrior, but 33 with the Sombrero. So automatically you think you want the Bermuda Sombrero because it gives more. But you want to take into consideration other things, such as these right here. Here you get 30% range defense and here you only get 10 percent range defense with the tribal warrior you get 20 percent troop life and with the bermuda bermuda you get 10 percent troop life one other difference between the two pieces of gear is bermuda offers troop defense right here okay and it gives 10 percent there is no range defense on the tribal warrior now these other numbers up here the range defense and troop life that have such a great difference those can be easily adjusted by using crystals So, what we're going to do here is I'm going to go down here and I'm selecting blue or level 4 or rare quality and I'm going to hit this forge button, okay? Now, when I hit this, what you're going to see is this right here is grayed out okay so you cannot craft it so what's wrong why can't i craft this why can't i forge this because you have to start at the lowest quality and work your way up okay so this right here 
in order to make a blue Bermuda sombrero, you have to have a green one first. Okay? So how do we get the green one? Well, that's very simple. You click that green hat. And when you click it, you'll notice up here that it has gone from blue to green. Okay? But we still cannot forge it because we do not have this. So I'm going to click this again. And you see that it has gone down to that quality. But I still cannot forge it because I don't have this. So let's click this one again. And now you see that is lit up because we are at the lowest quality and we can create a level one Bermuda sombrero. So let's do that. I'm going to hit the forge button. And because of my VIP and other boosts, I am able to do it for free. All right. Now we have a level one Bermuda sombrero. Click OK. And now we have the ability to make a level two by hitting the forge button. So I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to speed through this so that we understand what we're doing here, okay? We now have a level two Bermuda Sombrero. Now we see that we can craft this green one here. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit enhance. And I'm going to speed it up. Now, we have our green level 3 quality Bermuda Sombrero. And again, we are able to now craft a level 4 rare quality Bermuda Sombrero. But, we're lacking silver. So what do we do? We just hit this green plus button and go down here and get the silver we need. Now, I'm not going to use my gold to buy silver because I can very easily gather that much silver from dead bases in a couple minutes. Okay? So, now that we have our ranged hat. Let's go back to our forge. Look at our equipment. Filter by hats. And look at our sombrero here, okay? Now, the next thing we want to do 
is to inlay our crystals in it. Okay? When inlaying crystals, the first thing you want to remember is to don't put anything less than a level 3 crystal in. And the reason for this is because level 1, level 2, and level 3 crystals all require the same amount of gold to pull out. I want to show you something. If you look right here, a common crystal saver lets you pull a level 1 through a level 3 for 400 gold. So if you put a level 1 in and you need to pull it out later, it's going to cost you 400 gold just to put a level 2 in. Then you're going to have to spend another two, 400 gold to pull that level 2 out and put a level 3 in. So let's not do that at all. Let's wait until we have level 3s and put them in so that we only have to pull it out one time. Okay? So let's go back to our forge. And we're going to look right here. Okay? And you see that we have a lot of crystals here that can be upgraded. So let's begin by upgrading our troop life crystals, our troop defense crystals, and our ranged because we are working on ranged so let's go ahead and do that there we go so let's go back to our equipment and we did that by clicking this right here And go back to our hats and click on our Bermuda sombrero and now we're going to inlay a crystal here okay <clears throat> so the very first one that I want to put in here is going to be my ranged because it's going to give me an additional 12% and hit inlay. The second one that I want to put in here is going to be my troop life. And the third one that I'm going to put in here is going to be my troop defense. Now, what I've done here is created a set of gear My base stats are 12.5% ranged attack and 3.8 range defense, troop defense, and troop life. Down here, you can see what each individual crystal adds to my overall boosts, okay? So, at the top, you see the combined boosts of everything together. <clears throat> I'm going to back out of here now. And we're going to go back over here. And we're going to click Edit Preset. <clears throat> 